Hello and welcome to another update video about Litecoin. Um, on the Litecoin chart, we touched the support area that I provided yesterday um, already twice. Um, I Yesterday, in between, I added another support area for the second wave four. So this is an update I gave intraday yesterday on Discord and Telegram for all channel members. Um, but for, for simplicity reasons, I deleted the second support area because it was overlapping with the first one anyway. So best I can tell now, after we really uh, had a lot of great and successful trend reversal areas in recent days, there is a good chance we get one more high here in wave five of one. But that could be it for now before price pulls back in a deeper wave two. So the wave two, that's how I can see it at the moment, right? Um, wave two of wave three. So the idea is still for it to go higher. Um, so zooming out a little bit, yeah. the idea was that an Elliott wave triangle in a wave four finished on the 28th of June. Um, rallied in a wave one, all good, yeah, came into the target area, all good. Um, started a reversal process, broke above the trend line, came back into our first, again, trend reversal area, was successful, hit the second one, successful, came back again, successful, now I touched it again and again it bounced off. The idea now is that after the low in this wave two on the 10th of July, prices moved up in a wave one, came down in two, moved up in three, came down in four. Wave four might still be ongoing, but as long as it's holding $98, we should be able to see a fifth wave. So the condition for this wave count to maintain the idea that we could get one more wave up yeah, is that it's holding the $98 level. If it breaks below that, that's Fibonacci support, and it is import, really important structural support here. 98.40 was resistance before. So I'd really like us to hold that level. If price breaks below that, I'd get careful because it might indicate that we see one more low all the way down to $89, and below that level, it's potentially bearish. Those are the levels that I can highlight to you. Yeah? Um, the levels of warning. Bear in mind that Litecoin already rallied significantly of the, oh, I'm on the 30 minute chart, so let's go four hour, rallied significantly of the June 22 lows. Um, more than many other coins, yeah. Um, and uh, more than Bitcoin, because it more than doubled its price. So from that point of view, you need to be a bit cautious because we've got the halving come up shortly. And in previous halving cycles, Litecoin halvings, price started to decline before the halving. So we've obviously had a lot of successful trend reversal areas. It was so far correct to remain bullish on this chart. I just want to put out there that you need to consider the halving cycles as well. It's nothing that I primarily build into my analysis because I just use these support levels and everything but just don't take this here as a given. And if it happens, it might only happen be just before the halving and then we get a bit of buy the rumor, sell the news. Yeah, just be aware of that. As long as the support levels are holding, everything's good, but I would start to get concerned below $89. Until then, everything's okay. In the very short term, we've got support at 98 for higher, for one more high. Where could that get to? Well, I've got resistance here at $105. That's my update about Litecoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.